Hey guys, it's Arika Mitra and today we are getting ready to cook dinner and let me start off with the first thing I have is my favorite rice, the yellow Mahatma rice. Yellow Mahatma rice. I love this rice. Nice and soft. Y'all heard me talk about that rice a million times. I love that rice. Some really good, nice, soft yellow rice. All right, and of course y'all have seen me cook these too. I really love these. Main Street Bistro Roasted Garlic and Rosemary Potatoes. Look at those potatoes. I'm telling y'all, they are so good. We're going to roast those in the oven today. So good. Wait until you see those. All right, and for the main entree, we have the Stouffer's Salisbury Steak. Bring that in for y'all. Roasted patties made with natural beef and pork topped with onions and gravies. Oh, that sounds so good. Oven roasted and look at it. Ooh wee. Salisbury steak. Reminds me of meatloaf actually. But yes, we are getting ready to do it up. So we're gonna have, I have two packs of those and there's five in each pack. So I always like to cook enough, you know, so we can have leftovers. So We've got our Salisbury steak. We're gonna have the roasted, the roasted garlic and rosemary potatoes and our yellow rice. This is going to be good. Y'all know it is. So you know what? Let's go. Okay guys, the first thing I wanna do is get my potatoes ready to go in the oven and get them all nice and brown and roasted. So, you see I have my pan, my little uh, flat aluminum pan. Uh, you know, just a little regular flat oven pan. And I've got it covered with aluminum to cut down on the mess. Y'all know, I'm cutting down on the mess because I ain't got all day. So, I'm gonna spray. Spray my pan with oil to help cook my potatoes and help make them brown and make sure they don't stick to the aluminum. Now. Let me show you guys, give you guys a close look. Like, look at all those seasons. Roasted garlic, I'm telling you, I love these things. They are so good. I love these potatoes. I will love, I love these potatoes. Y'all will see me cook these a lot on my channel. I love them, they are so good. So good, they're nice and seasoned all the way through. Cuts down on my time trying to cut peel potatoes, cut potatoes, wash potatoes, hot potatoes. <laughs> Ain't got time for all that. No. Nothing wrong with taking shortcuts in the kitchen. Nothing wrong with it. Now, I'm going to get my potatoes all spread out here on my pan. Get everybody all flat so they can cook properly and evenly. Just get them all lined up on our pan here and remember we put that oil down to help our potatoes cook they're gonna get all nice and brown and roasted Ooh -wee. some salisbury steak and potatoes can't beat that you cannot beat that so we want to get everybody spread it around making sure they got their space to cook get everybody all nice and flat Turn them over like that. Either way, I, I just leave them like this. Some up, some down. All right, so it looks like we got everybody all spread it out, all even. Make sure there's no potatoes underneath each other. All right, so we got that looking good. Okay, now I'm going to spray across the top of my potatoes. Remember, to help them cook. That's what that oil is for, help everything cook. And I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna sprinkle some, you know what, just a little parsley. These are already seasoned and, you know, parsley's just gonna give them a little color. Y'all know what he do. So child, he, you know, he said he wanna give them a little color, so we got that old faithful parsley, child. Old faithful parsley. And parsley gonna make them look all nice and pretty. So I've got my oven preheated at 400 degrees because we wanna get these all nice and brown and roasted. And you know what? They're already cooked. They are already cooked. I'm not trying to cook them, they're already cooked. So I'm just trying to give them that nice brown roasted flavor and make them all nice and brown and pretty. So 
I'm gonna put them in the oven, 400 degrees, and I'm gonna put them in there. I'm gonna see how 15 minutes goes. If they're not brown enough, um, I'll leave them in there for another five minutes. But of course, I will let you guys know. So let me go ahead and get these in the oven. And I'll be back so we can move on to our Salisbury steaks. Okay guys, I am back. We are moving on to our Salisbury steaks. Which, as you guys can see, this is the Stouffer brand. Turn y'all this way so y'all can see better. This is the Stouffer brand Salisbury steak. Uh, family size, five, five patties. And let me get those cooking instructions. You can do uh, microwavable or you can do it in the oven. It says here with the oven preheat 375. You're pretty much going to have it in there for like 55 minutes it says. Let me show y'all that. 55 minutes in. Nah, I'd rather not. We ain't got all day. An hour? Nah. So, anyway, it says here, uh, microwave. Leave film on tray. Do not vent. On high, cook on high for eight minutes. Uncover. Carefully turn each patty and recover. Continue cooking on high for eight minutes. Let stand for five minutes. That sounds more like what kind of time we want to be in the kitchen. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to microwave these. Of course, I'll do one at a time. But as you guys can see how they look, they are frozen. And you can't really see, but you can just see the patties, how the patties go down the side. And they are, you know, pretty nice, decent sized patties. Y'all can see that. They're some really nice sized patties. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven, guys. I love the fact that they are microwavable. And I love the fact that they're going to be done quick. They're going to be good, delicious Salisbury steak, and they didn't take us all day to bake and cook. Quick and easy. Microwavable. And you know what? We've had these before. These taste really nice. Nice, soft, juicy meat with the gravy and the onions. I mean, they taste great, you know, to be microwavable. I like the Stouffer's line. They got some pretty decent stuff, you know. Now, one thing I will have to say um, about this... Uh, Salisbury steak, I do usually have to add a little season to it. So I'll probably throw a little all-purpose season in there or some complete, you know, something like that. So, yeah, because it's, it's bland. I'm just, you know, speaking how we feel about it. It's a little bland. Um, so, like I said, I'll just add some all-purpose season to it, you know, once the gravy get all nice and soft, and I'll just blend that in there. You guys will see. But let me go ahead. Like I said, don't peel the film. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the microwave for eight minutes. I'll be back guys so you can see when I get through with these. Okay guys, I just took the Salisbury steaks out of the microwave. This is after eight minutes. I just peeled the film back. Just wanted to come and show you guys. These are some really nice size Salisbury steaks. I mean, look at this. This is really, really nice size guys. That's, that's a really nice size Salisbury steak right there. That's really nice. Really nice, it's five in a pack. So let's go ahead and flip them over like our instructions said. Let's get them flipped over carefully because I don't want to break them. And they're so nice and juicy and tender. So I'm, I'm going to carefully flip them. Use my fork to flip them. I'm going to keep them in that gravy. But I definitely, I'm just going to, you know, keep them side by side like that in the gravy. Now our instructions say to go back, make sure we cover it back up. So I'm covering it back up and put it back in the microwave for eight minutes. So let me get it back in the microwave for eight minutes and I'll show you guys how they look. And that will be it as far as the Salisbury steak. Eight minutes, uh, unpeel the, you know, uncover, flip. Eight minutes, well, cover back up and put it back in the microwave for eight minutes. Quick and easy. This is gonna be a gourmet meal. That's right, I said it. This is gonna be a gourmet meal and we made it in like 20 minutes. Because I've already got the rice on over here. Y'all see me cook my Mahatma yellow rice. That's going to take 20 minutes. All together, I've got those roasted potatoes in the oven. Wait until y'all see those. All right, y'all. Let me get this Salisbury back in the microwave. Okay, guys. I just took the Salisbury steaks out of the microwave. And I wanted to let you guys know it was only... I only cooked them for an additional six minutes. Because, you know, they started... You know, the uh, gravy started popping and everything. So, I figured, hey... They were ready to come out. So, six minutes uh, was that second going back in cooking time. And as you can see, they are smoking. Let me take you guys in. And like I said, you can see these are nice, a nice size uh, Salisbury steak. Nice size. 
nice. They are nice, juicy, and tender. They are so juicy and tender. I love that gravy that's in there. And the gravy's got onions, nice chunks of onions in it to give you that flavor. And you take that gravy and pour it. You lay your um, Salisbury steak over your rice and you pour some of that gravy over it and you put some potatoes on the side. Oh my goodness. I'm ready to eat right now. Y'all know I stay ready. Y'all know I stay ready. Look at that. Nice and juicy and tender. Smells so good. I've got the second uh, batch in the microwave already. I'm telling you, Stouffer's really do it on these Salisbury steaks. Really do it. Give you a nice size. They're not small. They're nice and juicy. I cannot wait to eat. With them roasted potatoes on the side, I'm going to show y'all the potatoes because I already took the potatoes out. They're all nice and brown and roasted too. So. Ooh. Wee. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't want to microwave them to death and shrink them. But gravy with chunks of onions. Oh yeah. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be so good. I don't care what y'all say. That's going to be good. Now, let me show y'all the potatoes. I've already taken the roasted potatoes out. And they look amazing. They look so good. Wait on that rice to get finished. Now, the potatoes, guys. I cooked them for 15 minutes. I flipped them over and cooked them for another 15 minutes. I wanted them really nice and roasted, as you guys can see. Nice and roasted. A little crunchy on the outside, but there's still that soft roasted garlic potato on the inside. Not drying them out, overcooking them. I didn't do that. So 15 minutes, flip them over, cook them for another 15 minutes, and they look so good. So just wanted to come and show you guys that. I've got that second batch of Salisbury steaks in the microwave. Those should be finished. Let's go over here and check on our Mahatma Yala rice. Let's check on that. Let me get my glove to take that top off. See that yellow rice is doing good. Cooking itself down. It's got about five more minutes on the timer. I've already stirred it. So, waiting on that, guys. I mean, man, this meal going by too fast for me. Well, not really. <laughs> so, alright, guys. I will be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys. This is our grand finale. I have the Salisbury steaks looking amazing. Look at those Salisbury steaks. Oh yes, y'all see the smoke? Mm, 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 mm. Yes, they look amazing. Yes. Well, let's move over here to the yellow rice. Oh, that Mahatma yellow rice. It's gonna give it to you every time. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it is. And y'all see Parsley child. I better say something about him child before he get mad. And over here to our roasted potatoes. Yes. Look at those potatoes. Nice and brown. They've got a little crisp on the outside. And you guys see they're nice and soft in the inside. Just how I like my potatoes. Nice and roasted. But still give me that softness on the outside. Let me bring you guys out. Yes. We are ready to eat. I know I am. That's it y'all. Quick and easy. You can do this through the week, on the weekends, however you want to do it. It's quick and easy, guys. We microwave the Salisbury steaks. Mahatma Yala rice, 20 minutes. Our roasted potatoes, 15 and 15. So, I mean, pretty much the whole meal will take you about 30 minutes to do. Give or take a few minutes. All right, guys. you seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha and don't forget guys knowledge is power thanks guys bye